Hi lovelies, this is my top five achievements in life. I would say my number one achievement is graduating college. I do not come from a large college educated family and I had to drive to go to college and I actually got an academic scholarship to go to college and I graduated with my BA so that is like my number one accomplishment. Number two, moving to Atlanta and the thing about moving to Atlanta was I was really overweight growing up and really insecure. So what had happened was I had lost 100 pounds. I was feeling really good about myself. And I didn't need anybody's approval. Just I had to hold my hand to do anything at that point. Once I lost the weight, I had cut off all my hair. I had a short afro. I was just feeling myself. And I had some cousins who had already moved down there. So I pretty much moved down on my own with a few cousins that were like already living there. So I enjoyed Atlanta to the fullest. Oh my God, had so much freaking fun. So that is my second accomplishment. Three, buying a house. So I had bought my first house in Atlanta. I actually didn't think it was a big deal at the time, but down looking back, it surely was. I had all my finances in order. I eventually had to do a short sale in that house, like the, the housing crisis just took a bitch out, just took me out. Anyway, so, and losing a lot of money on that house, but it was an accomplishment to buy my first house. My fourth accomplishment is having Ava. If you watch my old videos, I was a slobbering mess over the fact that the, I thought I would never have kids. So, actually that's what a doctor told me. I would never have kids unless I had IVF. I didn't have IVF money. They didn't pay for IVF in Georgia the way they pay for it in Massachusetts. So having my child was definitely one of my biggest achievements. My last and final achievement, whopping number five, is turning into a mommy advocate. And you never know if you're mommy advocate material until you have to turn into a mommy advocate. So fighting for my child is my life's work. I will continue to do it for the rest of her life until my last breath. But there is so many fights that go on with insurance companies, schools, programs, everything you, you just can't imagine when you have a special needs child. So being a mommy advocate wasn't something I realized I had in me. It's just something I stepped to the plate when it happened. So I'm glad I stepped to the plate because not everybody does and not everybody has that personality to step to the plate. You know, not to give them a little defense, but the truth is the truth. Like, comment, subscribe, holla back.